Hello, I just wanted to make a quick video to show you how to solve one of the problems that people are experiencing with their business profiles, where they can't deselect something that they have previously selected in the attribute section. So if you go into the business that is affected in the insert editing um, functiony thing, you can go to just start at the about you scroll down and eventually here it is and more you will find the attribute so in this example um, the business has selected that an appointment is required and they don't want to select yes or no here but it is not possible in this editing experience to select neither um, you have to have one or the other once it's become selected so the way that you can solve this is actually via the bulk upload um, feature in the old dashboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into business.google.com where we used to uh, manage our profiles. Probably you probably used to do this. So we need to go to select the business. What we are going to do is um, download the business. Um, we're going to download it as a CSV that will save it into whatever sort of spreadsheety uh, software you have got on your computer. So I'm going to open that now. It's going to open in a separate screen for me. Um, but I am going to select it all. I am going to copy it and I am going to paste it into a Google Doc here. So it's all in here now. What we need to do is delete this row, this column rather, in here. And then we need to go ahead and we need to find the field that we're trying to change here. So we've got here, um, what's this? Woman owned, planning, appointment, requires appointments. So basically we want to get rid of that because we want to leave that as blank with neither yes or no selected. And then what we're going to do is we are going to download this as a CSV file. So we do that, make sure that we have called that something unique and we know where it is. That's great, that's done. And we're gonna go back into here we're going to go back to this business and what we're going to do is we're going to say we're going to import the business because what we want to do is import that information so it updates. So we say this import business, we're going to select the file, here it is here, open that. So saying here it's checking the file, it's imported the file, preview the changes, this is the update that we've made. There's nothing else that's been updated. We're going to apply that change. Okay, so that saved that there. So hopefully when we look again, we will see that neither is selected. So let's have a quick look now. We'll go to edit. I'm going to scroll down. Okay, and we can see here that um, we have made that change um, and Google is um, thinking about publishing it, which is great. We've actually made the change. So that's how you do it. That's the workaround that we've got to. I hope that helps.